Flora is preparing for her exam by going back to Black Mud Swamp together with the Winx. Another mystery of the Magic's universe has been discovered, the world of the algae nymphs. The Winx courageously succeed in freeing them, demonstrating that they really are a united group. These are incredible dreams you're having. So every night this nymph reveals herself a bit more. You say she calls you by name and her voice sounds familiar, huh? She looks familiar too, but I don't know why. Hmm, maybe you've seen her before. Well, that's not the point. It's like every night it's a new episode of this dream. It's not by accident. It's as if she's showing me the way. Do you think it's because you found out that you're a fairy and not just an ordinary earthling? Why do I possess such powers, and why do they seem to come to me so easily, so naturally? Daphne, the nymph in my dreams, she wants to tell me something, but I don't know what. And you know the temple in the square? The nine nymphs are sculpted on the facade. Well, the middle nymph? That's Daphne. Night after night, I hear her call my name and bid me to come to her. Hmm. Did you say Daphne? A few days ago, I went to the library, and there were tons of books about Daphne. And when I went back, there wasn't even one. Obviously, someone made them disappear. But I don't understand why. There are so many things going on. Daphne, huh? I know just what we need. This is a job for Timmy. I'll let him loose in the library at Red Fountain, and then... Lady, please, stop pulling. You'll see. Timmy will find whatever information you need. I am sure of it. <laughs> Gotta go now. See you later, Bloom. Thanks, Brandon. See ya! Everybody, I'm glad to say that the simulator is up and running again after Bloom's mishap. If I'm not mistaken, there are still several students who must take the test. Flora, Musa, Tecna, Stella, also Priscilla, Hortensia, and Luna. I hope you're all ready. Now I wish I could make myself disappear. Me too. Exams make me incredibly nervous. I don't think it's such a difficult exam. It's more like an exercise. Except that we get a grade. You'll see it'll be okay. Easy for you to say you're always studying. For the rest of us, though... I see that Stella has a few failures to make up for. But she's not with us today. Could it be an evasive action? She wasn't feeling well this morning, Professor. She told me, uh, that she was going to stop by the infirmary. Maybe she'll come later. I hope that whatever she has, it's not too serious. However, when you do see her, tell her that I'm waiting. She's late on many assignments. Well then, Flora, which of the two missions have you chosen? I'll use magic to fight off one of the most terrible effects of the witch's powers. Sadness. Good. 
I've been preparing for this in the Black Mud Swamp, and now I'm ready. Excellent. All right then. Ready to begin? Remember, maximum concentration and remain calm. May I? Come on in. Bloom? What's the matter? Oh, I'm fine, ma'am. I'm looking for Stella. She told me this morning that she was coming here because she wasn't feeling well. And, uh... This morning? You're the first student to walk through that door today. Which is kind of odd in itself, because when there are exams, I normally have a crowd in here. Oh. Thanks anyway. Bye. You guys know the latest? Stella didn't go to the infirmary today, so it's not true that she was feeling ill. In other words, she decided to skip Palladium's class. Huh, I wonder why she's acting like this. The test wasn't even that difficult. We all aced it. What is she afraid of anyway? Running away won't get her anywhere. Sooner or later, she's gonna have to take the simulator test. What's happened to her anyway? She wasn't in the garden, nor was she at the library. I was hoping to find her here with her nose in a book. That's an amazing smell. Infinite sunset. Oh, my new perfume. Do you like it? Stella, good heavens, you don't look sick at all. Quite the contrary. I'm in great shape, Bloom. Never felt better in my life, you. What in the world are you up to? We had the simulator test today. Palladium was expecting you. Listen, he's waited this long, okay? He could wait a little longer. Right now, I have more important things to think of. Such as your clothes? Indeed. You see, the right dress can make all the difference when one wants to win the Miss Magics contest. The Miss Magics contest? Yes, it's an annual thing to determine the most beautiful and talented girl in the Magics realm. Last year, I came really close to winning, but this year I intend to do better. That is ridiculous. Stella, how can you consider a beauty contest more important than school? Oh, please don't let me down. I really need your support. This is incredibly important to me. What can I do to make you feel sorry for me? Help me, and I promise you I'll study a whole lot. You should study for yourself, not for us. We've already done the exam, you know. <laughs> oh. All right, but this is the last time, okay? Oh, thank you, I'm so happy. You'll see, it's just an innocent little beauty contest. It'll be fun. Well, that would be a first. Every time we go into town, we never have fun. True. We always run into those nasty witches. Relax. I know from well-informed sources that we won't meet the infamous trio. But Lucy, think about it. It's a beauty contest where magic is prohibited. You can't ask Icy, Darcy, and Stormy to help you with a trick. It's not right. Could even be dangerous. Hmm. Listen, I want to take part in that contest, and I want to win. So what if I can't use magic? I see Darcy and Stormy are so powerful, they can do anything. Whatever they set out to do, they always achieve their goal. For them, it'll be a no-brainer to turn me into a stunning beauty queen. Even if the real me could never win such a contest. Hmm. Everyone will be looking at me, mister. For once, I'll be the center of attention. Don't you understand? No. Oh, Lucy, you don't need... Uh, get lost! Uh, I know what I don't need, and I don't need you, nor anyone else telling me what to do. Huh. Hmm. I already know how this is going to end. Let me guess. Mm, in a total flop? Don't be such a wet blanket. Griselda will never know we came here. Ready for the show? Are you kidding? I still don't understand what we're doing in a place as disgusting as this. Everyone's so old. It doesn't matter now. Sisters, we are here this evening to do a good deed. Huh? huh? You remember Lucy? She asked if I could help her win the beauty contest. <laughs> She's got bats in the belfry. She doesn't need us to win. She needs a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be fun, you'll see. What do you have in mind? Well, she wants to win the contest, right? She wants to be this year's Miss Magics. 
And she will be. We will make her secret dream come true, and then we'll smash it to rubble. <gasps> we'll cast a spell that will make her irresistible. And then, as she is crowned Miss Magics, we'll break the spell and expose the whole scam. She will be totally humiliated right there, center stage, before everyone's eyes. Wow, I see. That's brilliant. A wonderfully entertaining evening. Good thinking, sis. I always have good ideas. <laughs> now enough talk. Let's get to work. Lucy, you ready? How about this? Stella, you have to wear the same outfit as everybody else. That's the rule. Stella! We've brought everything you need to win. Starting with soft and relaxing music to allow the face muscles to loosen up. And then it's oil of arabatola and leaves of rancophycus. Whatever means of torture you deem appropriate, as long as I become the new Miss Magics, you will have the smoothest skin in the whole dimension. And your hair will be like gold silk. Oh, the things I must bear. <laughs> what am I going to do now, huh? I'm sure we'll find a solution. <laughs> What's happened that's so terrible? A catastrophe. Look what happened to my hair. Normally it's straight. I was just walking down the hall when poof, my whole head of hair puffed up just like that. <laughs> what is that? Nice hair. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> the usual suspects. Ladies and gentlemen, a warm and magic welcome to this year's edition of the one and only Miss Magic's Pageant. Tonight, 15 beautiful young women will battle for the title. We all know the rule, no magic. All curses and spells are strictly prohibited and will lead to disqualification. This contest is a celebration of natural beauty. What could be more enchanting, ladies and gentlemen? And now, here they are. Number one, Miss Loney. Followed by Miss Heidi. Number three, Miss Lesta. Number four, Miss Aguine. Number five, Miss Bera. Number six, Miss Stella. Number seven, Miss Lihona. Number eight, Miss Karen. Number nine, Miss Sabatha. Number ten, Miss Lucy. <coughs> Please, ladies and gentlemen. We have created a masterpiece. <laughs> number 14, Miss Neoxis. And number 15, Miss Nadia. A warm round of applause for all our contestants. Did you hear the audience's reaction when number 10 came out? I'll never win. Stella, it's only a game. Yeah, but where's the fun if I don't win? Hey, congratulations. They like you a lot. Hmm. Huh? What a strange reaction. Hmm. There's something going on here. The contestants must also be polite and show some class! Oops. Ladies and gentlemen, the first event of the evening is the talent competition. Each young woman will demonstrate her particular skills. Beautiful and talented, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome contestant number five, Miss Heidi. And her talent is Athletic Cubica. Well, I see. This one's actually kind of good. Yes, but she should watch where she's going. Uh, right. I guess we should move on. Uh, our next contestant is Miss Aguin. <laughs> I think I'll do with this one.
And now our next victim, uh, I mean, next contestant, Miss Lester and her hollow clays. I don't believe this. It's like this girl's really asking for it. Um, um, take her away, please. <laughs> <laughs> and now, here is Miss Jenny. <laughs> Miss Lihana and her white doves! <laughs> and Miss uh, Sabatha! <laughs> Miss Neoxus and her rings of... <laughs> Miss Karen? <laughs> we will now take a short break before resuming the competition. Yeah, a short break, or else I'm gonna have to break his neck. <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and now a performance from the great ballerina, Miss Lucy. Don't thank us. The best is yet to come. A magnificent performance from Miss Lucy! Yeah. Bravo. Bravo! Bravo! Now, our next contestant, Miss Stella, and the Dance of Happiness. <gasps> uh, sisters? This is serious. We've got to do something about this. <laughs> the last word hasn't been said yet. A few comments, please, Miss Stella. Uh-huh. But of course, she can speak backwards. <laughs> she said, absolutely, I'm very happy. We have here a truly gifted young woman. <laughs> and now, the moment we've all been waiting for, the coronation of this year's Miss Magics. How about a nice round of applause for all of our contestants? And this year's Miss Magics is Miss Lucy! As a result, the title of Miss Magics goes to contestant number six, Stella, Princess of Solaria. Number six? That's me! Congratulations, Stella. You're the most beautiful young woman in the magic dimension. Ha! Thank you. No word can truly express my joy at this moment. <laughs> she did it. She won. Let's celebrate. Oh, what an evening! I'm so happy! We can't just go home now. This calls for a celebration. The night is still young, and I know this perfect place. <laughs> 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 
Sam, do you have a sore throat? Do you have a memory problem? Huh? We had a deal, girl. After the contest, studies. You were supposed to study all night long. All right, let's take it up from where we left off yesterday. Stella, it's your turn, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, Professor. Which of the two tests did you choose to do? I'd like to continue what Bloom started. Very well. You will transform the desolate environment of Domino. Stella, I'm starting the test now. All right, what can I do to improve things around here? Hmm, let's see. A nice green lawn is always appreciated. Now, I think maybe... But of course, all things considered, I should add some. On the other hand, this is a magic potion for growing giant redwood trees. <gasps> should be good for a lawn, too. Now what? Oh, yeah. It's not easy to control your own powers when you've been up all night studying. Come on, Stella. Maximum concentration. You can do it. Sunshine! Wow. It works. Yikes. I didn't think that potion was so potent. Help! Help! Stella, are you all right? Yes, Professor Palladium. Stella, from what I've seen today, I'd say you weren't really prepared for the test. Am I right? Yes, Professor. As much as it breaks my heart to see my students fail, I can't help but give you an F, Stella. You didn't do the work. Now, if you want to succeed, better set your shoulder to the wheel. And hurry, because the longer you wait, the harder it'll be for you to catch up. Hear that? You can still do it. <laughs> and anyway, right now the future doesn't look so bleak. Our vacation is about to start. <laughs> In the next episode, at last it's time for vacation. Bloom can go home to her mom and dad. Who knows what new things Bloom will discover in Gardenia. There will certainly be some surprises.